Hey everybody, Jim Downey here. Uh, I am not going to be doing any glass blowing. I'm going to be doing some etching. I made some glass ornaments that need to be signed, dated, and numbered. This is a hummingbird. And this is also a hummingbird that's inside of a freestanding globe. Um, here's another hanging ornament. And here is one of the infamous dragon globes. So the idea of putting a figurine inside of a clear ball has been around for a long time. I've been doing it since 1986 or 87. Um, I mean, I make regular Christmas balls, you know, like just swirly, swirly balls that look nice on the tray. But I also started making little figurines that I put inside balls. And, um, you know, I've made elaborate ones like these um, flamingos. I've made colorful ones like this dragonfly. And then I take a little liberty with the dragonfly wings. Dragonfly wings don't usually flop up like that. I make some that I sandblast. This is a sandblasted hummingbird on a vine. And then I make the colored ones. And what I usually do is <clears throat> I make the figurine on a stick. And then I drop this inside. Excuse me for a minute. I drop this inside of a test tube. I put it in the lathe, get it really hot, and turn it into a ball or an oval or whatever. But the last, the very last stage is to record them. I started um, 2000 in 2024. I keep a list of everything that I make. I sign them, I date them, I number them. And today you're going to see me sign and date one of these. This is a hummingbird. This is hummingbird number two. I have a little diamond tipped. You can either use a diamond tip pencil or a carbide tip. I usually wet it first. And then all of my ornaments have a front and a back. The back is usually told by a tiny little hole at the top. So that's the back. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write my name, just scratch it in, Downey. All my figurine ornaments have this, Downey. It's so small you can't even hardly read it. And then after that, I put what number it is. This one is number two. And I usually put a circle around the number. And then the last thing I write down is the year. This year is 2024. All of my ornaments come with a little card that tells you, uh, let's see, can I, can I reverse my camera? I don't think I can. So you may be seeing this backwards, but all of my cards have uh, all of my ornaments come with a little card, what it is, what year it is, what number it is, and a little bit about me, and a little bit more about me. So, um, and I'm wearing the gloves so I don't get fingerprints on the, on the ornaments. So this one is number, this one is number three, and this is a freestanding globe. I mean, I just write this on here so that nobody else can claim they made it. And not that anybody would. I'm the only one who does anything like this. There are two, ar two other artists that I'm aware of that make ornaments and put figurines inside. I'm not going to mention their, their names for their anonymity. But... Um, me, I've been doing this since 19... I, I have signed ones from 1987. I don't think I have any right here. Oh, I do have one. I'll show you. Well, actually, it's funny. I was on uh, 
every once in a while I'll go, I'll go on YouTube, not YouTube, I'm sorry. Every once in a while I will go on uh, eBay and I will put in Jim Downey Glass and see if anybody's trying to sell my stuff on eBay. And uh, every once in a while something will show up. And what showed up recently was an ornament. Um, it, uh, it had a little teddy bear inside holding a candy cane. And it had a top that's very unusual. I used to just cut the tops and then I would buy these little metal ones to put on there. So somebody was selling this and uh, I just had to buy it because I knew it was old. This is from 19, you see the 80, the backwards 87. So this is Downey 1987. So this is what, 37 years old? Yeah, 37 years old. That's pretty cool. Knowing that I got stuff out there from 37 years ago. Um, but anyway, I bought it and it came in broken. So I told the guy and he said, oh, okay, so I got it for free. Um, I will probably try to fix it and put it inside of another ball. But I just keep it to remind me that I've been doing this for a long time. A long time. And I hope to continue to do it. But you never know. I'm getting close to retirement age. So maybe I need to teach somebody else how to do this. Um, yep, so Downey. This one is number six. And then 2024. So I got four, I got four globes four hummingbird globes that are going to Port City Pottery uh, here in Wilmington and I'm taking them there this afternoon and uh, hopefully they'll find good homes retail price is $79 there is nothing else like this available Anybody who has any of my ornaments knows the value of them. Hopefully, uh, you have one in your collection. Yeah, that one's hard to read. But anyway, um, look at this. Two flowers and a Nemo hummingbird. That is pretty damn nice. So anyway, I'm going to post this on uh, YouTube. And... Um, I'm going to go have lunch. So I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.